I'm Nancy Quinn. Welcome to High Noon Tea. This is a time that I always look forward to. I love spending a few minutes with you all and inviting you on to the mountain where we can have a cup of tea together. I have a really fun recommendation. We were recently at the Winco. It's a chain of stores that just opened in Helena and so everyone was excited to give it a try. It's, it's a massive grocery store with with lots of choices. One of the things I really like about it is the fact that they offer bulk purchases and you can go into the bins and choose as much as you'd like or as little as you like of something. Well, it applies to tea. So I found this brand called Tiesta and they were sampling it there at the store. So I got to taste it and I really liked it. So I picked up a bag of their mango flavor on the back of the bags is actually some handy information too. I noticed that it has temperatures and steep times. Well, for fruit tea, which is something I really enjoy a lot of, it reads here that they're to steep for between five and seven minutes, whereas a green tea is about one to three minutes. So the little chart on the back of the bag is kind of handy. So if you try these Tiesta flavors, let me know and, and tell me what you think of it. Now I did have a question come in. It's from Jan in Missouri. And Jan writes, I heard on your radio show that your husband reads to you. What do you like to read on your own? Well, first of all, Jan, you listen to my radio show? That makes me really happy, thank you. It's called News from the Mountain, and it's an opportunity for us to have a once a month chat where people can call in and we're on live radio and we answer questions and we talk about things about the Old West and the New West and what's going on on the mountain. So it, it's fun and I'm glad that you enjoyed it. It's true, my husband does read to me and it's a wonderful time for us to just slow down from the day and enjoy a good book. It's something we usually pick out together and I like to just sit back and listen to his voice and be in the moment. I do, I find it very soothing. I will be happy to tell you about the kinds of books that I like to read when I'm on my own. Probably uh, a good recommendation if you're interested in books about health and wellness is a book called Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom. And this one is by Christian Northrup, and she has a slew of books out. But I found this one to be really helpful. You definitely can't read it in one afternoon. You can see how, how large it is. But I actually have a few bookmarks and a few little pages that I've marked for information that I thought was helpful. A dear friend recently sent me a few books by Joseph Prince. And I'm reading Unmerited Favor, and I have to say that I'm really enjoying it. So if you like books also by Joyce Meyer or some of the other faith-related authors, I think you should give this one a try. Now, you know I'm a huge decorating and architecture fan, and secretly I have this idea that I should have been an interior designer. So I love these books that have beautiful, photographs all about homes and interiors. This one called Country French Kitchens is another one of my favorites simply because it has the most beautiful full color photographs all in this theme of kitchen design. So this is one that you may want to try to look up for yourself too if you like this kind of book. And of course, baking and cooking, uh, particularly baking, is a real hobby of mine. And I have tons of books about baking and cooking. In fact, maybe one day I'll just hold my tea in my cup and we'll take a nice long look at all of my bookshelves because there's so much to see there. 
But an old favorite that I like to go back to simply because I used to live in Florida and live in the South are the Southern Living Books. And this homestyle cookbook has a huge variety of different types of, of salads and cookies and different rice dishes and just about anything you can imagine. And it's very inspiring. I'll admit I rarely follow a recipe, but when I look at these, I find things that inspire me to create new ideas and new kinds of dishes. So you may find that that's the case for you too. So I really appreciate this question, Jan, and I hope I've given you some things that you can look up and enjoy on your own as well. I want to tell you again how much it means for me to have a few minutes together with all of you and share our tea. So I'll see you again soon on High Noon Tea. And it's always a pleasure. So I'm much obliged. Bye-bye.